someone to help my baby. He's stuck on the roof. That's not a baby. That's Banjo. Oh, is that why it's been so long? We would have made another full play. But Banjo is stuck on the roof, crazy guy. Let's get him down. Whew. That was... That was life or death. It was life and death. Both. He died and was resurrected for our sins. Because that's just the kind of guy that Banjo is. Welcome back to full play part eight. There's been a slight hiatus due to Banjo being stuck on the roof. But thankfully, uh, that problem's been solved. If you recall 17 years ago, we were about halfway through Pterodactyl Land. Jesus. Uh, may have taken me several hours to realize what the fuck I was doing and where I was. But I've got it. I've got a tenuous grasp on things. And I feel like now's a good time to kick back into full play. I'm gonna kick the shit out of that Stegosaurus. Just go down. There you go. You fuck. You didn't even die. That's right. You goddamn die. So, quite a bit's gone on since the last episode of full play. I took several dumps. Like, I don't know. Over a dozen, at least, I'd say. In, in the time since the last episode. Um, I got a new shower curtain. That's new. Um, went to Dallas a couple times. It's like three hours away. Uh, oh, I got married since the last episode. If that's a thing that people are excited about, I don't know. I don't know what the normal reaction to that is. Went to Australia. Basically did everything I could besides make full play. But now we're back. Now we're going. And... What? You thought I was going to say something? I was waiting for you to say something. And now I have my setup at home. That's right, kids. Now, I've recorded shit at home before, but it's always kind of been piecemealed. Like, it's not what I normally use to edit. And it's usually just slapped together. And then I got to take it to work. And it's a lot of going to work on weekends and all that shit. And uh, since Full Play last aired, the office has moved. So now it's fucking far. So I don't have fucking time to go 30 minutes because that's how fucking far it is. 20, 30 minutes to go to work every fucking weekend. But now I got all this shit set up at home. I'm in my living room right now and my jammies. It's actually Monday morning at not, or no, 8.20. I'm not late for work yet. But can I be late for work uh, when I'm at home working now? I mean, yeah, I, I could be. But it doesn't matter because Ray's not in today anyway because he's in fucking fuck off land. I don't know. He's on vacation or some shit. I don't know what the fuck the guy does. Fuck yeah, Chuffy. Get your ass over here. So now I can finally grab this dragon, this baby dragon! I knew it was a dinosaur, I just wanted to say baby dragon. Now I can finally grab his stupid ass. I think I got him from Witchy World. He'll hop off the train automatically and then go run to his mama. Suckle on debt! Titty! Titty suck! He'll, uh, he won't do that. Uh, but he'll go. He'll go there. This game's gonna get very complicated from here on out. If it hasn't already. I guess not that complicated. There's a lot of backtracking. There's running around. There's shit to do. It just never stops until I beat the game. Then it stops, I suppose. You're goddamn right. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that's one thing I've yet to fix. You didn't see it. But every now and then, it's completely random. My TV goes black for a second. Like, it loses the signal from the capture device. Capture's still going. We're good. Don't worry about it. That's happening. But, uh, yeah, my screen just goes black for a second. Minor glitch in the system. You're still getting a full play, ain't ya? You is. You is getting a full play. So shut your goddamn mouth. All right, so here's the train station. I don't think there's anything. Oh, I lied. There is something else. Fucking get him with the fire, you fuck. Christ. Oh, I was, <clears throat> I was pushing the wrong button. It's X, not B. Hey, you better fucking run. I'm going to chase you down. I need complete silence and the absolute concentration for this. So this is one of the things that took me 500 years to wrap my head around. These guys, these little assholes with the armor, if you recall four months ago when the last video came out, if you kill five of them, oh god! If you kill five of them, you get a jiggy. No fucking idea who I killed and how many and all that. Turns out I've killed three. So we're almost half done. My god, it's just a mad one. I know, fucking idiot. Oh wow, that was, um... That was kind of pathetic. Oh, God. Where are these fuckers coming from? Fucking piece of shit. There you go. There you go, you fuck. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh. Oh, nice cheeks. Oh. God damn it. 
Oh, I, I got him. This asshole hit me, so the other guy still exploded. Okay, so there's only one more dude out there. And <laughs> I know where he is. Ah, <sighs> God damn it! My screen went black again. Okay, now, now, now that's too much. Usually it only does it every 20 minutes. Now, now you're just mocking me. There's a, there's a Minjo around here. No, I didn't fuck up. He's not a Jinjo. Look at that Minge. You piece of shit. He tries to get you. Tries to get got. I ain't getting got. Not my own goddamn house. Welcome to Dino House, motherfucker. Where no bears get got. Alright, so I set up the dino thing now. The Stegosaurus. So now he ran home. Which is right over here. In this cave. Nya. So there's three dinos you gotta take care of. The one being the asshole we already took care of from Witchy World. Another one's tiny. <laughs> tiny penis. And you have to bring Mumbo here to make him all big and such. And then the other one's sick. So you have to put his stupid ass back on the fucking train that the other guy just got off of. Get back on the train, go with him, take him to Mun Mumbo or Munjo, whatever. It's his evil twin brother. Although, I mean, Mumbo's not really evil, but he's, he's kind of weird, so I don't know. I don't know what his twin brother would be like. But anyway, take him to there. He'll fix his ass. I don't think you gotta bring him back. I think he runs his own fat ass back here. But uh, you do gotta do that. It's good to stop by here first. This banjo, one, to get that honeycomb piece, and two, you need to fuck this up so you can use Mumby. There's a tiny guy. <laughs> tiny penis. That Mumbo's gotta heal. So instead of Mumbo just standing here and, you know, making that guy bigger, and then walking, I don't know, 20 feet over here and curing this guy, I instead have to switch to Banjo, put this fat fuck in the backpack, carry him all the way to the train, then get Kazooie, because Banjo can't ride the train without Kazooie, run Kazooie all over there, hop on the train, and fucking ride the Mumbo, a different Mumbo outside of the level, heal him, and then he'll come back. Or I could just use the guy that's standing right there. It's the same guy. It's Mumbo Jumbo. Is he different when he's in the game or he's out of the world? What the fuck? He fuck. So there's really no point in talking to that hoe, because that's what she'll just say. She'll be like, that hoe. Might as well just grab this prick now and get it over with. So you need to get Bandy. Bandy Kazandy. This also took me, I don't know, three minutes to figure out how to get my stupid pack out. It's left trigger and left on the, uh, on the right stick. I guess I gotta talk to the mom first. Hey, what's wrong with your stupid kids? I'm trying to take care of them. I, s I swear, I'm just trying to get you healthy. Get in my backpack. Come on, kid. Hop in my backpack. Don't worry. It's gonna be safe. Oh, God. Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. Just take my kid to a doctor. I mean, I know a guy who works out of a van. He's inside the world. I don't have to leave on a goddamn train. I fucked up the word goddamn. I was a good dude on a good dude train. Oh, I did it that way. It's, it's, uh, 8, what is it, 8 what? 8.30? 8.30 in the morning. What do you expect? Earliest episode of Full Play ever recorded. Not in comparison to the last episode. Bit of a gap, but time-wise. Earliest episode ever. And I also have a new Full Play attire. It's my pajamas. Get in the fucking bag, kid. There you go. Get in the backpack. Run! Run! <laughs> I'm not gonna do it the whole way. I mean, Christ, you got the joke. Bum 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 ba na 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 na. So I'm assuming the inspiration for <sighs> I always said Miley. I don't know why. Last I checked, Miley Cyrus wasn't in Harry Potter, but. And then I forgot her name. I was going to say it. I was going to say Hermione, and I thought Miley. And then I said Miley, and then I forgot what it was again. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the inspiration for Hermione's... I lost my mind where I was going. Bottomless bag there in the Harry Potter definitely came from Banjo's backpack. I mean, look at it. There's a whole dinosaur in there. You'd never be able to tell. I'm pretty sure J.K. Rowling was just fucking dicking around, you know, playing banjo Tui one day. And she went, whoa. That'll be awesome. I'll put that in the book. And then she did. No credit to Banjo, though. That was a little weird. Could have gave the guy a shout-out or something. It's, you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. But, you know, whatever. He made it in the book, at least. So then you take this fat fuck. There you go. And leave his ass there. But as I said, you can't get on the fucking train now without Kazooie. So they give you these little... These are like sparkle points where you don't need a split pad in the area. But the game knows 
they fucked up and you need to switch back to your other character. So they just put a magical thing there. You only see that shit when you're one character. Like those sparklies wouldn't be there if I was Banjo Kazooie, and they won't when I recombine. But they're there now, and it's convenient. Otherwise, I'd have to run all the way back with Banjo, which isn't that far, but it's farther than not moving at all. And Kazooie's fast as shit. Look at this. Let's just say chicken legs, but it's more of a dragon legs. Dragon legs. I don't know what the what's the theme song of Dragon Tales. Anybody know? Dragon Tales. Tales of dragons and shit. We're gonna go on adventures with fucking dragons. Dragon Tales. Is it like that, I assume? J.K. Rowling put that in Harry Potter too. It's like, what the fuck? Stand on the go button. Go versus. God, there's just so much exposition. Guys, wait. I need to know what the train looks like. Oh, okay, that's what it looks like. Thank God. I was just standing inside it like an asshole. Waiting to, you know, fucking go places. And there's a nice shot of the canyon. In case you missed that earlier. Yeah, there's the pad. So, he can't even be bothered to A, go in the train. Or B, have the dinosaur come out. He'll just heal the whole train. So hopefully Chuff Chuffy's sick. And then he'll get healed too. Now, I don't know if it's my capture device or my game. I think it might be a little bit of both. This game has no brightness setting, and my TV's pretty much as bright as it can go. The door's right here, if you can't see it. That also took me some time to fucking find when I was practicing this shit. The fucking door's hidden in blackness! Dun, 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 dun. This is why this game takes so much fucking longer than the first one. You constantly have to come outside of the levels to do shit, as I've already done in the other seven parts. I feel like part eight is so, it's just such a gap between part seven and part eight. Maybe people just started watching at part eight. Hey, what's that and why did he start at part eight? That's another great one too. People won't ask, you know, or they won't just watch the beginning. What happened? Can someone tell me what happened? What's going on? Who is this? What's he doing? I don't know, watch the other seven fucking parts. It's like they're fucking labeled. No, they are, I swear, I do it every time. It's got like, that's, also that's not a door. That's a fucking wall. Don't run into that. That won't get you anywhere. That'll get you black and blue, or at least, uh, you know, a bruise. Might get a red mark on your forehead. Gob yam bomb. Yeah, you're right. I kind of lost it at the end. I'm rusty. No, I'm Michael. Just kidding. Inside Chuffy's wagon. Is that what it looks like inside? I would have never have guessed. Look at this fuckery spry as can be. So I guess I lied, I do have to go back, but I guess I have to go back with Banjo and Kazoo anyway. Lion! Oh, fuck. I still need an achievement. There's an achievement for... These achievements are super fucking easy in this game. It's killing 20 enemies with Mumbo or Dinosaur Banjo, or Adult Dino Banjo. Or when Banjo is like a pair of pants or some shit. It's a transformation I haven't gotten yet. I don't know if it's accumulative. Like, you can get... 5 with 1, 5 with 1, and 10 with the others, or you need 20 kills with one of them, I'm pretty sure it adds up no matter who you are, so like 10 mumbo kills and 10 dinosaur kills would get the achievement, but I haven't done it yet, and I'm about to turn into an adult dinosaur, so I might as well kill a couple bitches here, kill a couple bitches there, I really should get the achievement, you know, before too long, need the claw clamber to run up that wall, but I don't have it, so I won't, I can get it in the next level. I'm gonna fuck you up again. Oh, uh, yeah, you better fucking run. Oh, I can't attack in the air. That's fine. Didn't need to. Fake them out. Fake out. Fake out. I also forgot to go in my house. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just your casual, everyday shaman living inside a skull of his own head. No questions. Really liking that dragon, Kazooie. She looks good. Fierce. Kind of wish she didn't go <laughs> anymore, but she still does, so. It should be like. <laughs> that would probably be more annoying. Does this make, at this point now, Banjo the queen of dragons? Is that how that works? Or. As, I don't. 
Introducing Banjo Khaleesi. And then all the other fucking thousand million names that she has. There's a thousand million. I counted them all. Man, you waited, uh... I mean, hopefully no waited. Like, you guys weren't sitting by the computer refreshing. All of you. I know some of you were. But hopefully that wasn't the case for four months, because, boy, is this going to be underwhelming as fuck. But you get to see Banjo. That's good. Had a couple ideas for some... Some full plays after this, if I finish this game in the next six years. Hopefully I will now, because I can record at home. I mean, fuck. I'm, like I said, I'm recording Monday morning. This is the whole point of why I wanted to set up. And really, wait, I, why I waited. Because I probably could have shit out one or two episodes. But it still would have been super fucking infrequent. So, I was just kind of trying to wait till I had all this shit set up. Where now, hopefully, full plays back. I can keep banging them out. I can record one on the weekday, and I can edit it whenever the fuck I want. I can edit it at night, in the afternoon, in the morning, at night. There's just so many options. Hmm? What? Did I just go in and out? Is that what I just did? Did you just intervene on me? Is that what you just did? Fucker. Okay, so it's two. Two of the dinos taken care of. I've gotten no jiggies yet. Just to note, in, I don't know, what, 17 minutes so far? 18 minutes? Got that honeycomb piece, though. That was cool. So now I need Banjus. I, I have Banjo. I need Mumbo to fix that other dino. But before that, uh, I'm trying to think. Basically, the, the, the part that's hard now is, is talking, because my brain doesn't fucking work. It's trying not to do everything seven times when you don't have to. So, for example, I could get Mumbo now and go heal that dino, but then I'd have to turn back into Banjo, and inevitably, I'd need Mumbo again later. So I'm going to try and wait to get Mumbo until I need him, and then I can do both things at once. Like, that's why I knocked that rock out. Because now I, I don't need Banjo. Dude, like I said, if you go there with Banjo, I already said that you can't get Mumbo. But, if you recall right in the beginning of the level, hopefully it's still open, because I, I know I left the world, but there's that, uh, there was that one cage with the Jinjo in it, so now I can grab that. You gotta shoot it with the grenade egg, and then, I, I don't know if there's any other way to get it, but this is the easiest that I know of. Just grab this flight pad, and then you gotta fly all the way back to the beginning. And that motherfucker's right at the beginning. I say all the way back to the beginning, it's right there. I mean, that's the beginning. And then he should be right over here. Oh, I can't see him, but I know he's in there. There you go. There you go, you little bastard. Jinjo! So it's four Jinjos. I'm five. Oh, it's gotten teased. And also, while I'm here, I think this leads right up to the last Unga Bunga, whatever the fuck he's the asshole is. The fucking caveman guy. Bum, bum, bum. Time to get me a second jiggy for the video. Jiggy video. Jiggy jiggy getting jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it. No, 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 no. Huh. We'll get a better shot of the cheeks this time. Oh, there it goes. This asshole got fucking rectified. Oh, are you shitting me? Where? What? Fuck, there's one left? Oh, okay, never mind. I lied. I said there was two. There's three. I know where he is. Woo! I panicked for a sec. That was my panic. But I know where he is. Uh, okay, now I gotta make my way back to Wumba. Bum, 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 getting shit. Not surprisingly, cannot finish this level. I think eight jiggies is the most that you can get before... You know, getting other shit, and then coming back. I think so far in this whole game, we have one level finished. The very first level is 100% done. And even still, I don't think that I can 100% any other level. Um, no, I take that back. I can finish Witchy World now, now that I have Banjo's Taxi Pack, so I can carry... I can carry that fat kid from Witchy World. But... To get one of the Jiggies in this level, I actually need to go to Witchy World and come back. So I might as well wait to do that. But... I need those claw cl clamber boots that I pointed out earlier, the, the footprints on the wall. So I might as well wait for that shit. Long story short, I'm not going to perfect this level, and I'm not going to perfect Witchy World. So all you have to do to get this guy is just go in that cave with Banjo so he's looking at you. It doesn't matter which side. You can go on the other side, and then and then 
run over there, or you can do what I did and go over there and then run over here. Don't matter, as long as he's looking at you, and then Hall Ain, you have pretty much just enough time to blow his ass up. There we go, now they're all dead. Now I've killed, basically, the first humans. So shout out to humans, uh, being extinct now. We're never getting born, because I killed our ancestors. Now, I think I can change into the dino. Little baby dime. This level's unique because it has two transformations in it. It's the same, but it's different. There's dinosaur, which is what those little doors are for. Little door, little dino, little D, as I call it. And then there's the large adult dinosaur, or big D. BD. Big fucking D. Big ass D. Huge D. Dick. No, oh, I didn't pay her yet. Here's your fucking blood money. Or, you know, Globos. I mean, technically it's blood money, because it's a live thing. She says she needs it for the spell. And you throw it in the pool. I don't see where it went. Right? Like, the sparkles are coming out? So is that thing fucking dead? Did I just sacrifice it? I'm fine with it. Job's gotta get done, I'm just saying. I just killed that fucking thing. So now you're a cute little baby dino. Yeah, I know, I just said that. Don't fucking copy me. Don't question it. So now this little guy, he can open these doors, but you can't open it yet because you're dumb. And you don't know how to be a dinosaur. So to be a proper dinosaur, you gotta find a stegosaurus. There's one right there. Just go chat it up. It's cool. I don't know if you're aware of this. Tyrannosaurus. Sissises. Stegosaurus. Sissises. Best friends. They used to chat all the time. So just go up to him. He's like, how do I roar? I don't know. You're fucking dumb. Press the X button. And that's how. Archaeologists have discovered, right, like recently, that turns out 60 million years ago, dinosaurs actually had an X button. And previously, we never believed that. But now we know it to be true. Uh, they do have the X button. Or they had it. They're dead now. Uh, but it, it's good to know. Open the fucking door. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I don't know if that's two out of three for this level, but I know that's all I can get for now. So the password is... Um, something. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so it's short, short, long, short, long, long. You press X to roar, you hold X to long roar. Remember that, we're gonna need that. But not for a while. Which kind of sucks, because you need to remember that for... Like ten minutes. And then by the time you get over there, you don't remember what the fuck the password is. And then you gotta look it up online. And nobody likes that. Because you just don't feel good about doing it. Actually, I don't really give a shit. I do it all the time. I don't do it here, because there's no point. But, oh, okay, remember that code? Now we're here. It's been a long time, right? Fooled you! Okay, so you roar, roar, long roar. Roar. Long roar. And long roar. <laughs> And then you get the fucking thing. All right, look at that. But on and on, done. Did I say it before I got my second jiggy? I think I'm a fucking idiot. I can't remember now. Maybe I, maybe I did say the first one. I don't know. That was the second one. I know that. R regardless of what I said before, ignore that. Ignore earlier in this video. The the truth starts now. Everything else was a lie. Everything is permitted. Nothing is forbidden. Something like that. I don't fucking remember exactly. So I think that's all you have to do with the small dino. So now you need Bumbo. Gotta go hit, get his ass. Come back here. You mumbo the tent, makes it fucking huge. Then you can be an adult dinosaur. And then there's one or two things you gotta do with that prick. And then I think we're fucking good with the dinos. Gotta do a couple run around things. We'll wrap this shit up. This will be a 35, 40 minute video, cut to 7 hours in. Well, that's what I get for opening my fat fucking mouth. I love these warp pads. I love Michael four months ago for nothing else but just getting all the warp pads. Because my god, it took me forever to realize what the fuck I was doing. The warp pads, they were there for me. I needed them the most. <laughs> yeah. Also, in other news, just throwing it out there while well, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the shit with Mumbo. You know, he likes to fucking jab his jaw. Now that I have this step at home, probably doing some uh, 
Some videos with Lindsay. When she behaves, if I allow it. But I've been wanting to do some couch co-op videos for a while. The idea behind that is a little different. It's it's still going to basically be Let's Plays, but I, I, I play this to record this, right? Like this full play. Banjo is fucking fun. I love this fucking game. But I'm playing this just to make a video out of it. Like, hey, I'll play it and I'll record it or whatever. Which is awesome and it's fun. And now that I have it at home, it's fun to do. But Lindsay and I play games... Not all the time. I was going to say all the time, but that's just a lie. We play games plenty of times. Uh, and I'd like to record that shit, too, just because it's like, fuck it. We both work there. We're making videos anyway. Let's fucking make videos at home when we're playing at home. But there's a difference between recording when you're already playing and playing to record. Now, this is playing to record because I'm like, hey, I'm making a video. Da -da -da -da. The couch call videos are pretty much going to be... Whenever Lindsay and I are gonna play a game, if we feel like recording, I'll just fucking slap it on and we'll record. So, for example, we have a game in mind, and if we did it, it'd be the start of the game. Like, we would start a new game because you never played it before. But, I would absolutely not expect to see every part of that game. Like, one episode could come out, and it'll be the beginning of the game, and then I'm thinking maybe another episode could come out. It could be five levels into the game, just when we feel like recording. Because, like I said, it kind of defeats the purpose of recording when you play, when you have to fucking... It's such a pain in the ass to set everything up and fucking do all that shit. But if we're already playing anyway, boom, 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 you get a Let's Play. And I assume it'll be more like Let's Build style of definitely more laid back. It definitely won't be full play of like... Ah, 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 ah. It's gonna be fucking awful. Now, that'll be good. But I'm hoping to play some fun games. I've got some, uh, got some good ideas in mind. Like, for example, we're already playing Super Mario 3D World. That'd be a good example. We're, th we're on the third world, I think. I'm not gonna fucking start over again, right? Like, that, that defeats the purpose of fun when we start over at World 1 just to make a video when we're already at World 3. So, if we record in that, I'll probably fucking slap out, you know, whatever world we're playing in Super Mario 3D World. But it's also a way I feel like we'll get a lot, uh, a much bigger variety of games because it's not gonna be playing a game start to finish. So, or it'll never come out, and I'm just fucking talking out of my ass. So if that happens, pfft, whatever. But right now, there's no plan for a series or anything like that. It's just like, whenever we do it, I'm gonna film it, and then maybe we'll fucking slap it out. Maybe I'll film one this week. But I probably won't. And look, now we're the giant dinosaur. What a transition. Except I didn't transition anything. What a transition. I gotta admit... Adult Banjo as a dinosaur is kind of fucking ugly. I don't know. It's just a little off-putting. Maybe it's just because you were the baby and the baby is fucking cute and this thing is not. Can I kill you? Can I kill the Stegosaurus? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I can. I mean, I don't like, you know, dino on dino violence, but I am trying to get that achievement that I mentioned earlier. So I got to kill! Where are those fucking pterodactyls? Come here, bitch. Yeah, just fly into me and no longer be alive. That's that's pretty awesome. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, you pretty much have nothing to do with this guy. It's a cool character, and transforming into the dinosaur is pretty legit, but he really doesn't do shit. So you need him to scare the shit out of this guy so you can get in that cave. Because he's a fucking pussy! Aye! But that's... Pretty much, oh no, and then you need you need him to get a ginger. And I think that's it for, for like the whole fucking level. I also don't remember exactly where that is. Bum, ba, bum, I'll go this way because there's more things for me to kill. That's me attempting to sing with the song and horribly missing it. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Did you ever play Wind Waker? Sploosh, sploosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's dino genocide over here. Was it the meteor that killed them all or me? I don't know. Haha! -ha! Seriously, where's my fucking achievement? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, na, 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 na. There's no trick to this one. This is a dinosaur button. You open that gate, you get the ginger. Hit the button and haul ass back. That's pretty much it. And you have plenty of fucking time. They give you 30 seconds. I think you could do it in 20. I can see that. 35? <sighs> Made a liar out of me again. I saw the dino down there, but I'm on a schedule. Even though I just said I had extra time. So I probably should have killed him. Fuck! What am I doing with my life? I'm a bear! Bum, 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 bum. Get in the ginge, it's like the minge. 
Safe in them fucks cause they're fucking cool. And they give me jiggos, kids stay in school. I said jiggos. That'd be a new thing. Combination of a jiggy and a jinjo. Oh, dude, sweet jiggo, man. Thanks. I worked really hard on it. Alright, now, what the fuck else do I need as far as. Oh, I need to fucking. Oh, fuck! This is what happens when I jab my jaw. You were all watching, screaming at me. Michael, you fucking idiot. Forgot to go to the goddamn dinosaur thing. I even planned it all out. I said I was going to do it. I laid the groundwork. And then you start you start doing commentary. That's what happens. It's okay, though. It's a slight hiccup in the master plan. But yes, this is what happens. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Seriously, talk to the guy. Let's. Hey, there you go, asshole. God damn it. Such a fucking schmuck. The, the worst part about it is you have to run back. It wouldn't be that bad. If I could just hit a button and go back to Banjo after being Mumbo, fine. That's fine. This just sucks. Even though the portals make it way faster. Okay, don't run into the corner there. You're not being punished, asshole. Actually, yes, you are. But, fuck it. I can kill more people. But fucking... Do, 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 do. Are you fucking kidding me? Can this jerk off not get up there? How the hell do I get up there? God damn you. God damn it, Mac. I really don't know how to get up there with Mumbo. I never actually did that in the fucking fuck. Okay, when I was testing this level, I never actually ran up there with Mumbo Jumbo, so I don't know how to get him in there. Is there a fucking warp pad in there that I didn't get? How do you get in there, asshole? Shit! Can he climb? Can he shimmy? Can he shimmy? I seriously fucking doubt this fuck can shimmy. But now I have to try. God damn it. Yeah, you know what you did. You'll die for this. Now get over here! <laughs> Bitch. <sighs> this is the fucking struggles of life. Bum, 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 backtracking, running around, wiping out the dinosaur race. I fucking love the music in this game. It's so goddamn good. It's so catchy. It's all jingly, jingly, jangy. Okay, so if I go to my house, which is, you know, where I was, and then, what, I gotta go to the right? Is that, oh shit, is this it right here? Alright, so this prick definitely can't grab ledges. I've just discovered that before I even bother getting over there. So how the fuck do I get over there? Fuck! The fucking god damn it. The one fucking thing I didn't test. Look what happens. This is what happens. This is what I get. Also, I need to be over by her. Just fucking kill me. Somebody just shoot me in the fucking head. Just shoot my fucking head off! Damn it! Uh, sorry, Jeff. I'm gonna be late. Um, I can't figure out how to get Mumbo inside the Stegosaurus den. Okay, bye. That was me calling. Work. Ha! <laughs> work. <sighs> I'll try going this way. Because I'm a fucking futile fool. <laughs> you just electrocute them until they pop. It's gruesome. I wish they exploded, though. Did I run from the wrong side again? I did. Didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, wait. Is it a ledge? Maybe it's not a gra- Oh, it's a ledge! Woo! Hang on. Yeah, Jeff, it's me again. Everything's gonna be fine. Yep, I'm gonna be there right on time. Woo! I didn't actually call him. I never called him the first time. That was, that was all an act. But I held up the phone. I, does this sound different in the audio? I'm pretending like I'm holding the phone. Hey, Jeff, this is what it sounds like on the other side of the phone. I was gonna be like, no, I'm not. Ecom, bokum, ecom, bokum. Suck them a dick. Suck them a dick. Again, vital that I took the other asshole all the way out of the level on a fucking train. Then just walking over there with this guy. Nope, can't do it. Yeah, you can thank me. Give me that fucking gold! Silver and gold, silver and gold. And what's going on with the leg in the air, I just realized? The back left leg? It looks like she's just gonna piss or shit. She's just getting ready to stream. Not like a Twitch thing. I mean, like a piss stream. Look! 
Look, it's just way off the ground. Why? It's a dangerous spot for the Jiggy. I feel like I was going to get got. Just going for it. All right, so now I've got every Jiggy I can get except for one more. So that's not every Jiggy I can get. I lied! I think I have everything else I can get. I have all three honeycomb pieces. I have all five Jinjos in the level. I have two out of three Cheeto pages. But I can't get the last Cheeto page until I get the tenth Jiggy in this level anyway. So the only thing left to get is one more Jiggy. And if you recall last part, several years ago, I fought Terry Dactyl, uh, the fucking owner of the level, I guess, because it's named after him. Yeah, he owns it and everything. I saw the deed. It's a whole thing. It's weird. He actually, the cock and balls from overhead, they're his, even though it's a woman. So I don't even know where to get started because she had kids and shit. So anyway, you need to save four of her fucking birds. Mm, bird. And we already have two from the last part. So I need to grab two more of her kids, bring them back, and that should pretty much be it. And we're good for this part. And look at that. History's been made. Full play continues. Another part is out, probably. Hopefully it's out by the time you're watching it. If not, that means you broke into my home and you're watching it on my computer. To which I say, please stop. And also, if you're going to take something from the fridge, at least close it because you're letting out all the cold air and the food's going to spoil. So don't do that. And also, thanks for not murdering me in my sleep. Just take what you want and go. But if you can leave a receipt for everything you've taken, that'd be great because I can just give it right to the insurance. We'll hammer that out. It'll be fine. I'm trying to think where the hell I'm going now. Right, I'll go to uh, Wumba's. So the first, the first egg we need is in that cave that we cleared off with the giant dinosaur. And that's where the path into Witchy World is. Because to get Jiggy number nine, you need to go to Witchy World, get, you need to do a couple things. But what we can't do now is to go to Witchy World, get three food items, like the snack with the burger and the fries and shit. And then we need to bring it back for some fucking hungry caveman. But we can't leave Witchy World until I have those claw clamber boots. Because you can't leave the park with the food, which makes absolutely no fucking sense. You know, like when you go into a movie theater or a theme park, you can't bring outside food in because they want you to pay the ridiculous prices and shit. There's no fucking place in the world where you can't bring inside food out. Like maybe beer at a bar, you know, sometimes they won't let you leave with a glass. That makes sense. But... Fucking burgers? I can't leave the park with burgers? That's bullshit. I didn't mean to do that. Get your fire eggs ready. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there we go. So there's three guys in here. You need to set three fires. And then, I assume, bring each one food. Which is also bullshit, because you can only carry one burger and one fry. So you probably have to make two trips. I didn't make the rules. I'm just telling you how to do it. So sue me. It, and this definitely is supposed to be this dark. So if you can't see for dick, just keep shooting fire eggs. No? Nope. Okay, I hit it for no fucking reason. Now I'm gonna walk in here like a prick just to show it. If I fall out, I'm fucked. Okay. Yeah, see this? This is where you come back up. But as you can see, you need the fucking... Dude, look at that! It panned down for me! It didn't even do anything! It's like the game knew! As you can see down there, thanks for panning, game. That's where you need to use the claw climber boots, which I don't got yet. So that's how you get Jiggy number 9 in this level. Jiggy number 10, I believe you need to do something in Cloud Cuckoo Land, which is at least two levels ahead. <coughs> it's fucking dark as hell in here. There you go. You can hear... Much like the Jinjos, too, the, the birds, that squeaking, go, 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 that's the bird inside the egg that needs the dung gun get hatched. Grab some of them. Grab some fire, fire, fire. Oh, it's already full. Oh. Now, there's something somewhere. Oh, I think there's a rock to break. Is there a rock? Is there a rock to break? Yeah, there is. I couldn't even fucking see it. I was standing right in front of it. Dark as dongs in here. Again, that's supposed to be the point. Don't fucking complain about it. Why is this video so dark? I couldn't see it. Playing the game. I didn't make it. I mean, I made the video, but I didn't make the game. I just made a video of the game. It's dark. God. Gee, I wonder why you're so fucking cold. Maybe don't hide at the bottom of a fucking cave on a ledge where no one will fucking find you down a hole. 
I said hole twice, I think. Hole again! Go outside! It's fucking warm outside! Alright, so I've laid the groundwork there. They're all set. And I need to switch. God damn it. Yeah, okay. I just need Kazooie, because the bitch got a hatch. Hatch them eggs! Another technique took me maybe a minute to figure out how to do. The the hatching technique. It's all I mean the controls are super easy and you learn everything and the game's like do this and then you wait six months and you're like, oh how do I do that again? I know it was four months, I exaggerated. It's right trigger or left trigger, I think. And X, just so you know. That's how you hatch. It's an interesting hatch job, because she's barely touching the fucking egg. So if you recall the other birds, the other two before this flew home as well, and this one will fly straight there. The last one is fucking fat. I mean, that's just... It is. They say that in the game. What do you want me to do about it? So you gotta carry the stupid asshole back up there. And you gotta do it just as Banjo, because you can't have Kazooie when you, you know, carrying somebody. Obviously, because the backpack is occupied. Um, excuse me, this backpack's occupied. Sir, something like that. that was my nasally nerd telling someone else that the backpack's occupied and Kazooie's trying to get in. But that wouldn't work very well because Kazooie's fiery and she'll crack you in the mouth. Goddamn right, get the hell out of my way. It's an odd way of moving. What if someone was guarding a door and then they took 20 steps backwards without turning around? Just saying, it's weird. Open that gate. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real fucking good. Uh, where the fuck do I need to go? I need to go up here. Memory, serve me! So far so good, memory. So far so good. Bum, 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 bum. Wiener, wiener, wiener. There's split pad somewhere. Split pad. Pad of split. Splitting. Split pad. Did I just like go around the same way? Did I? What did I just do? What happened? Did I just walk down here? I guess I didn't. I mean, I knew. <laughs> Obviously. <clears throat> Obviously, I knew what I was doing. This path's pretty fucking hard to see, so it's right here. Yes, this is a path. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Have fun looking around forever for that. Except don't, because I guess if you watch this video, you'll know. Highly recommend you play these games, if you haven't. I don't know if it's on sale anymore, or if it was a... I know it was a thing. I don't know if it was a sale, or it's like one download, or whatever. It's probably gone by now, because I think it was a month ago or so. But they had a double pack of... Uh, on the Xbox Live Arcade, where you can download Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie for, I think, 15 bucks. Which is a fucking deal, if you haven't bought it already. But I'm pretty sure that deal's over, so... Go buy it now, without the deal. Bump, 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 bump. Can't fucking carry that. Fuck, he's too bad. Get fucking kick off. Kick off! Fuck you, miss! Fuck you! Jonah! This is it, the fucking last G of the video. Oh, my man, G. And it's gonna end right when I said it would, about 45 minutes. Even though I, I guess I said 35 to 40. Whatever, good enough. It was a projected time, and considering the mumbo mix-up- Oh, shit! Holy fucking crap, that was fucking close. I would have blown my head off. So, bought a MacBook Air. It's awesome. Save all your complaining. I don't fucking give a shit. It's fucking awesome to edit with. No, I'm not. I didn't buy it to play, I can't play games on it. I didn't buy it to play games. I bought it to do this shit, and now I'm doing this shit. So shut the hell up. I wouldn't have it without it. It's fucking awesome. I've owned like three PCs and a laptop. This is the first Mac I ever bought. Oh my god, it's so fucking nice. And it's so fucking fast. Fucking love it. But, battery life, phenomenal. I think it's... 11 hours or so, 10 or 11 hours. However, I have, I'm recording uh, on a Blackmagic shuttle, which uses the lightning, uh, the Thunderbolt cable, which or Thunderbolt, which is what I have on my, on my MacBook Air. I have one Thunderbolt. So it's Thunderbolt to the Blackmagic, and that, um, that's powered by my, by my MacBook. It doesn't need any fucking AC adapters or anything, which is awesome. I'm also going the wrong way. Fuck. Need to need to get to a pad. 
Um, so I got that going, and then I have my hard drive plugged in, which is currently a USB. I'm going to get a Lacey drive so I can Thunderbolt. I only have one Thunderbolt, but you can Thunderbolt into the hard drive and then Thunderbolt out of the hard drive into the capture device, and there's, like, no loss because Thunderbolt's so goddamn fucking fast. It's amazing. Uh, but I don't have that yet, so I just have a hard drive on USB 3 and one Thunderbolt. However, they both power off the Mac, and, uh... Yeah, it doesn't get 12 hours of battery life when you do that. So, I glanced at my computer, and it was at fucking 4% battery. Holy shit, would I have ended everything. Like, the world. I would have blown up the fucking world if while I was wrapping up the video, my computer died. Because I didn't have it plugged in. <sighs> Thank you, little fucking alert telling me, Hey, fuckface, your computer's about to turn off. Holy shit! But I got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, if you're going to plug a lot of things into it, kids, uh, make sure it's plugged into the wall as well. Recommendation from me to you. But with that, look at this. Making it up to Terry's Nest. That's the fucking video. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me get the jiggy first. But that's the fucking video. Hand back the kid and shy of the game rewriting its script, unbeknownst to me, and signaling another boss fight that's never happened before. And quite frankly, if the game chose to rewrite itself, I'm glad I'm recording because that'd be the time to see it. But shy of that happening, she's happy. Banjo's happy. Saved your kids. Bam. Jiggy for me. That's three jiggies in this level from this nest. You get one for beating her. You get one for saving her kids. And you get one for fucking knocking a rock out and falling in the hole. So thanks for a third of the levels, jiggies. I know it's three out of ten, so it's not technically a third. It's actually a quarter. But that's it. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll get part nine before the end of the year. <laughs> maybe.